I had this joke that I did about again, it's, it's, it, and I feel bad because it's about my my nephew crying again. <laughs> but it's about um, me taking him to a haunted house. Uh huh. And I ha- and I knew it was a funny joke. And yeah. I don't know if you ever heard the joke, but it's it's like basically like, taking him to a haunted house, and um, I, I took him through, and he got and he got and. It, I guess the, my my rationale my rationale for mm-hmm. this was like kids and adults are afraid of very different thing. We have a very different set of fears. So yeah. it's like kids are afraid of fantasy. Mm-hmm. Adults are afraid of reality. So kids yeah. are afraid of like you know the you know the monsters and Dracula yeah. and and Frank whatever. We're afraid of you know like am I going to lose my house? Uh, mm-hmm. Am I going to lose my job? Uh, is you know. Uh, am, am I going to get sick and die? Like real shit, taxes stuff. Yeah. That, you know, ha- you know. And then, so like, I did this thing where like, I took my nephew through this. It was at this carnival. Took him through this haunted house. Yeah. And like, this guy dressed as the Wolfman jumped out and scared him. And he got really scared. And he got like so scared. It was building up that I had to like pull him aside and be like, none of this is real. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> none of this is real. Yeah. And then I was, and, and then I was like, you know, because he's afraid of the Wolfman. Yeah, I'm not. I know it's not real, so I'm not afraid. And so I'm trying to convince him. And then I did this thing where I was like, you know, what would be real? What would be scary if they wanted to market to adults <laughs> a haunted house for adults? They should have a carnival barker out there because really, what it is. And again, this is stepping back and like, yeah. what really is a haunted house? Yeah. And it's like, what I realized the haunted house was. It's like. It's just what's scary to me is that there's this like possibly methed out carnival worker <laughs> who's dressed up in a mask, and I'm in the back of this track trailer <laughs> and he's chasing me around. <laughs> that reality to me is much scarier than a wolfman because yeah. I know wolfman. Yeah. Wolf yeah. Are real. So I, I did this thing where it was like the carnival parker, and he's like, "Ladies and gentlemen, for just two dollars, step right up." And you can step into the back of a dark tractor trailer and have these carnival workers, uh, you know, these you know crazed carnival workers and masks chase you around in the dark in, in the back of a you know in the back of a, a dark tractor trailer in a dark field in rural Pennsylvania <laughs> at night. Step right up, <laughs> and it didn't hit. And uh, no, it, really, we get some chuckles or whatever, and it yeah. just wasn't. So I just dropped the bit. Oh, that's funny. Because it just, I tried it and it just didn't work. And then I get for whatever, but I knew it was funny. And then six months later, I don't know what happened, but I realized I was like, take the carnival marker out of it. Uh-huh. I have to level with my nephew. It's not the carnival marker. It's me saying it and me realizing slowly what's happening. Cause what I'm trying to do is as I'm trying to calm my nephew in this dark corner of a hard house, I'm, it's my voice that has to say it. And it's like, buddy, buddy, there's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah. That's not really wolf. And he's not really real. None of this is real. Just think about it. We're not in a, we're not, because it was called Dracula's Castle. Mm. We're not in Dracula's Castle. We're not in a castle. Think about it. We're just in the back. And I'm, yeah. again, I'm calming him down. And I'm like kind of kneeling down on, yeah. say, you know, bending down on, say, yeah. talking to the kid. And it's like, uh, we're just in the back of a dark tractor trailer. <laughs> Surrounded by a bunch of carnival workers in masks <laughs> chasing us around in a dark field in rural Pennsylvania at night. And then it's like this realization. It's like, let's get the fuck out of here now. Let's get out of here. I'm I, it's like, That's the reality. So like me and it's, I, you know, comedy is all about emotions. Yeah. So it's like the carnival barker doesn't have an emotion. He's just being a carnival barker and selling it. But to me, it was like I'm being the good uncle and yeah. trying to be really pacified. Yeah. Like, look, everything's fine. And as I'm telling it, yeah. and like slowly You're letting realizing. out the facts yeah. to the crowd, they're getting it yeah. at the same time that I'm getting it. Yeah. And then it's like, and then it, it turned into like one of my favorite bits, and like bits that did really well. Yeah. So. Um, so it was just I had to sit back for a, a while and just like let it process because it just wasn't working. So sometimes it's just you, you let it yeah. sit in the back of your notebook and you just let it collect dust for a little yeah. while. Yeah. Well, that's the about. The about was you like the audience finding you're realizing it in real time that this is a terrible. That, yeah, that they're. Oh, okay, yeah. cool, man. Yeah. 